Hi guys, welcome to my art chill out club today and I'll show you what we'll be doing. So what we're going to be doing is looking at painting some rocks. Now you can go and find these in your garden, you can find them if you haven't got a garden, if you're out and about in the park, you can go and look, look for some stones. The best kinds are quite flat as you see in these pictures here and these are some that some children have done using fossils as a design. You could do fossils, I know year three have been doing this, but you might want to do something else. You might want to do birds. I will show you one that Daisy did in year six a couple of years ago. She made me this, she was at Swaffield. She used my bird design there. And I will look, I will really treasure that forever. It's a lovely gift. You could make something like this too. It's very easy just have to take care as you do it and I'll show you how. So here are some of the objects that I've found as I've been wandering around my garden. Not everybody has a garden I know so you might want to go to the park. Some of them have already got kind of fossil shapes on them look. Anyway this is a really old rock. I found this on a beach I think a few years ago. These are from my garden. This is an old flower pot and you could do something with, with the design around there. And this is a roof tile that I found lying around, it's broken, but we can do something with that. So now what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to need is some white paint. Now this is acrylic. You can use white poster paint, but make sure it's water-based and it's not toxic. And you'll need some water and paint brushes, obviously. And you also will need some paints. Now I've been using some acrylic paints and some watercolours, but you might not have these, you might just have poster paints or a different kind of watercolour, different company that makes you acrylics, that's fine, those are ideal. I've mixed them in here, as you can see. The first thing I'm going to do with that white paint is I'm going to put it onto my stone. Okay, so a bit like that. You're gonna paint your stone, your nice flat stone with that white paint and let it dry. Once it's dry, then you can put some color on top. Now I've put yellow on this one, uh, pink on this one. Nice blue on here. And then on the tile, I put this green on, which is really nice green, and then I've, while it was still wet, I just put this tissue over the top, patted it down like that, and then took the tissue off, and I got this lovely texture on it, which will give it a, like a kind of aged effect. Now, when you're ready to start putting your designs on, the best thing to do now is to have a little practice. Here, I've drawn some little designs. So I've done like a fossil design here, very simple fish bone. Um, so these are kind of more fossily if you want to do that, or you can do something like Daisy did with a bird, but it's totally up to you. You just pick your favorite motif that you want to do. Have a little practice before you do it. And then when you've done that, you can then start painting. I've started painting this one and I'll show you what to do next. <laughs> 